Hi, I'm just sharing with you a card that I done for my daughter. Um, it's actually a teapot mini album, uh, but she didn't want it have to have photographs in. The teapot comes from Michael's, and my friend Maureen had sent it over in a parcel from over at the paper pantry. And she loved this, and she asked, "Would I do it an Alice in Wonderland themed card for her for her birthday?" So I did, and my original idea was to do black and white to match a room, but when she was in the black and white paper, she said she didn't want that. So I painted over it with gesso, and then added the Tim Holtz um, ink pad, Distress Inks, to give it that extra bit of colour. Uh, I've used the stamps from Stamp Attack at www.stampattack.co.uk. Uh, most of the images are from her, and on the odd exception maybe a couple don't know. Uh, this charm is from Hobbycraft and they were selling a pack of them for ninety nine pence which my friend found and passed over to me. We tried to find more but there wasn't any. This is a clock and I've put glossy accents over the top to give her a real watch feel to it. And this A stands for Alice and Alicia as that's my daughter's name who it is far. On the second page I have done stamped image, all of the stamped images I've had, added distress inks around them rather in blue or green I'm not exactly what shade of blue and green I can't remember and I've done the Cheshire Cat and I've done the Alice with the shadows and there's a little flower there and the Drink Me on the third page there is the rabbit with the trumpet blowing the trumpet and a, a larger clock with I put, also put glossy accents on that watch me not clock and I found this charm which was so fitting with the rabbit blowing his trumpet so I was really pleased to find that the next page sort of went a bit wrong <laughs> it is the, the caterpillar and Alice and I thought if I'd done these swirl pearls it might look like the smoke coming away from his pipe but it, looking on reflection it really it just looks like a lot of random pills and um, I should have maybe just put one swirl in instead of two and a little one there and um, so I didn't do anything else to that on this one I bought these cards I'll just get them I should have gone down before I bought these from the Aintree or the NEC and I tried to cut them up but the card was too thick so I had to photocopy it put it on paper and this is what they are all around so it's like the playing cards and then obviously the Mad Hatter and I've done a teapot to go with the Mad Hatter on the next page it's Alice with when she's playing croquet with the flamingos and I covered the whole of the teapot with those cards and I put a fleur de lis and I put the red roses like what they have to paint on there um, and the next one it's twins and I just basically put a bit of bling over around it and left it at that and the next page it's one of the royal workers bringing a message and I put a button with some fibres, not fibres, threads, metallic thread and my friend Jo bought me this charm from the NEC which is lovely. Thank you Jo. And then I've used another shadow of the rabbit and put a butterfly and another stopwatch there. And on the last page I've done the queen with some more red roses and the crown. And all of them have been added with the extra large eyelets and I've put some fibres on the rings and some fibres on each of the ends of the teapot. Um, so that's my Alice book. Um, please comment and subscribe. Uh, many thanks. Thank you. Bye.